hello guys welcome back in this video we want to apply all the things that we have learned so far and build a palindrome tester now what is a palindrome you might have probably heard of it and if you don't know what a palindrome is then a palindrome is a word phrase number or any other sequence of units which has the property of reading the same forward as it does backwards character for character sometimes disregarding punctuation capitalization and diacritics all right so that is what a palindrome is simply put a word or any phrase that reads the same as forwards at it reads what backwards so that is what we are going to build we are going to write a program that checks if a user input is a palindrome all right so if we run this program as i have done here if I type, let's say, level, level is a palindrome, right? It reads forwards at it does backwards, all right? Mother is also a palindrome, all right? One, two, three, then three, two, one is also a palindrome. What about, let's say, hello? Hello is not a palindrome. So this is the program that you are going to build. And then we also have another rise to vote. Then let's say, sir. This is also a palindrome all right this program disregards any punctuation in it in the words so it just takes the words literally and then checks if it reads forward as it does backwards okay so you can pause the video and then try your hands on this write a program that works as i have it here your program might look different all right but the functionality should be the same so pause the video and try your hands if you can do it otherwise i'll go forward with the solution so first of all we need to create some space above our program as we saw in the one we ran and then after that we want to have a certain instruction for the user so we write another print function and then we tell the user that enter a string or any word to test if it's a palindrome right or enter quit to exit the program as simple as that and then next we define or build our function so we have def is palindrome and then this palindrome checker or this function will take one argument all right one positional argument called let's say any cars like any characters all right doesn't matter what you put in any characters okay then here we simply want to return true if the character the user will enter is equal to the reverse of it right so let's write let's say a doc string here that talks about what this function will do so we want to say return true if user input is a palindrome false otherwise all right and then after that here i want to check if any cars that is the parameter is equal to its reverse all right so how can we do that you can use if else statement to do that to check if any cars is equal to its reverse we did string slicing and then string indexing so i believe we have fair knowledge of that so here simply put you can either use the if statement that i just talked about or you can just use return to just make things short all right clean code any car equals any car then you use string slicing if you remember i said if you do this and then minus one this is the reverse of any car so you have checking if any cars is equal to its reverse all right so this function will return either true or false simple as that and then after that we come here and then build a loop that is the user can run the program as many as he or she wants all right until he enters a word or a key that creates the program so we write while loop here so while true we prompt the user for an input okay from the user for an input and then here what can we do we ask user for inputs 
using the input function so here we ask enter a string or quit because the instruction here is enter a string to test if it's a palindrome or enter quit to exit the program all right so that is what we are asking here and then after that we want to convert the user input to lowercase okay convert user inputs to lower case how can we do that we could have actually added just the lower here and then that would work fine for us but we want to break the code down for everyone to understand so here we can say user input equals user input dot lower right then after that we need to check whether the user enters a string or quit all right so if the person enters quit then we need to exit the program so let's check for that too so exit the program if user types quit okay as simple as that how can we do that we need to write if statement for that right so if user input equals quit then what should we do here if you remember we did something called break and then continue so here we want to break the program all right and we said that once you introduce a break statement in for and while loop is just exit the program if the condition above it is met so if the user doesn't input quit or enter quit then we need to check what the user entered and then strip off any white spaces and then punctuations all right to make our program work as we want it so let's bring another comma here and then here we want to say remove all spaces and punctuations from the user inputs so you have to write another code block for that okay so first of all we want to define a new user input and then we set it equal to let's say an empty string okay then we are going to add the characters to it the characters that are not punctuations and then white spaces so we write a loop because we know strings are of the type sequence right so we can loop through it it's a trouble so here we write for let's say car that is a character in user input if car what we should know is that this character that we want to access is actually a string right because everything that you put in the input function is a string the input function converts everything as a string so we can use string methods to check if some condition is met so here since we are saying that for car in user input so we are checking every character in the input that the user will enter all right so if the character is only alphanumeric all right that is it contains alphabet and numbers or only alphabet or only numbers then we want to add it to our new user input otherwise if it's a space or a punctuation we want to omit it all right so if is alpha num all right r num it's a string method we have covered string method so if is that then all that we want to do is new user input plus equals to our car it's as simple as that so we have created our new user input all right stripping off all the punctuation marks and then white spaces and then after that we want to actually check if the word is a palindrome so here all that we want to do is check if user input is a palindrome so we write if is palindrome it's now that we are utilizing the function that we wrote up there okay so if is palindrome but we know that our palindrome function accepts one argument that is any car so what should we put here our new user input all right then if that works what should we do we print to the user that let's define some f string here the user input is a palindrome otherwise let's bring some space here so that it will not be stuck together if you run the program continuously else you want to print to the user that the input is not a palindrome all right it's not a palindrome as simple as that we are done let's bring another empty 
line here and then we are done with our program as simple as that let's take a full view of our program okay so let's run it and see if everything goes on as we want if you didn't get as i have written here it doesn't matter your answer can look different but the functionality should be the same all right so if you're not able to do it you can just check the answer and then rectify your mistakes so let's run this and see enter a string to test if it's a palindrome or enter quit to exit the program so first of all let's enter quit and see if it works okay our program has been exited let's run it again and then let's say let's type capital quit it also works okay now let's test some palindrome as we did at first and see if it will work so we know that a race car is a palindrome right it reads forward as it reads backwards so if you run this let's check race car is a palindrome okay what about level level is a palindrome what other word what other word one two three three two one is also a palindrome all right what about let's say true true is not a palindrome okay so you can just check as many times as you want and then if you are done you just enter quits and then you break out of the program so this is all that i wanted to show you it's a nice program try your hands on it if you didn't get it and then make sure you get the correct thing bye bye for now in the next video we talk about more advanced concepts in python the journey is not easy you have to know a lot of things before you can start building and creating applications and softwares all right so bear with me the journey is slow but as soon as you know enough you will start building bigger projects bye bye for now see you in the next video